Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to give you a two-year update on the race garden beds that I built. This has been a great video. Absolutely love this project. And actually, this is the most popular video on my channel right now with almost 2.5 million views. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check that out. I'll leave the link at the end of this video and leave a comment below the video letting me know what you thought. Although this is one of my most popular videos, it did have a ton of questions and some people had some concerns about the construction of this. So I wanted to give this update video answering some of those questions and showing how this has held up. This was earlier this summer, I came out to take a quick video of how this is holding up and the garden has grown tremendously each year. This is towards the end of the growing season, so we're getting ready to tear it out. It looks really messy and overgrown at this point, but it's pretty much done with what it's gonna produce. Now you can see along the sides, it has not bowed at all. The dirt is not pushing it out. The construction's really solid even after two years. There's no warping or bowing of those boards along the side. The wood construction is holding up really well. There's no sign of rot or anything like that. I did use pressure treated, however, so that does extend the life of the wood. I have had quite a few comments in the comment section that they are concerned about pressure treated leaching chemicals into the soil. However, after a little bit of research that I did, I wasn't too concerned about that. If you are concerned about the pressure treated cedar, lumber would be an acceptable alternative. It should last a pretty similar amount of time without rot and it wouldn't have the chemicals that potentially could leach into the soil. The one downside to using cedar lumber would be the price. It's quite a bit more expensive than pressure treated, so that's one thing to keep in mind before making your decision. Even though the wood is still strong structurally and there is no sign of rot, it is getting weathered a little bit. The sun has bleached the color out of the wood and we're just gonna come back quickly with some stain and seal all the surfaces that are exposed on this and that should help extend the life of this garden bed as well. Another concern I've gotten from the comments was that the metal roofing would rot out or rust out within a year. You can see it's a little red right now because our soil is actually red, but with a little brush and some water, you can see the mud comes right off the side and it has not rusted at all. Another concern that I've gotten in the comments was that the garden bed would heat up too much because of the metal roofing. The sun would hit that, heat it up, and heat up the whole garden bed and cause things not to grow. That's just not the case where I'm at. It does get pretty hot in the summer, but I think because it is a reflective surface, if this was black siding, it might heat up more. But because it is reflective, all the sun's rays kind of reflect off of that and sort of deflect some of that heat. The heat that it does cause does not affect the plants in any way. Now you'll notice I'm adding in some more topsoil. That's because the soil level has dropped down about six inches to a foot. If you've watched my previous video, I layered up firewood that was rotting out and wasn't good to burn anymore in my wood stove or just too buggy to want to bring into the house. I layered that along the bottom of the garden bed in hopes that it would decompose and feed the garden over time, which it has. It's done a great job. But as that settles down from year to year, you'll want to add in a little bit of soil if you do that. I have learned quite a bit from the comment section. It's really interesting to see what other ideas there are out there. And there are two improvements that I wanted to mention for the cross beams going across holding the garden bed together along the bottom. I have one as well as at the top above the soil. The one at the bottom eventually will rot out because it is submerged or encased with soil and that will cause it to rot out a lot quicker. The top one is above the soil line so it won't rot out. Now I have been told that if I use something that was galvanized like a threaded rod, you can put that all the way across and have some nuts on either end of the garden bed holding it together. That would work really well. It wouldn't rust out nearly as fast as the wood is gonna rot. Or you can encase that board down at the bottom in something like Flex Seal or something like Ice and Water Shield. Anything to seal the moisture and dirt from getting into the wood. The next improvement that I think would be really nice to do would be instead of around the corners where I sealed it with ice and water shield to keep water from getting to the wood frame, you can actually buy metal flashing and nail that to the wood frame and that would seal it really well and do the same thing. Or you could purchase 
ridge cap for the metal roofing that's made for working with metal roofing and use that and screw those on each of the corners. Other than those two minor improvements, I don't think there'd be anything that I would change about this build. It's been great so far. It's lasted two years and there's no sign of it falling apart anytime soon. I think this will probably last another five, hopefully 10 years and that will be great for us. We're very happy with this garden bed. Now here's a quick picture of what it looked like when I first built the garden bed two years ago and what it looks like now. Once we've stained it, it looks still new and it's held up almost perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button down below and let me know what you think. I'm also working on building a watering system so we no longer have to water this garden. So you can just turn on the valve or hook up the hose and let it automatically water. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.